Martin, six wins on the spin. Uh, what did you make of that today? Sensational. Some of the best football I've seen and watching Celtic for a long, long time now. Enjoyed Martin O'Neill's style of football. Enjoyed Brendan Rodgers' era as well. It was exciting, but I think this is the next, this is the next evolution. It's, it's massively exciting. I mean, you, the buzz is about the place. Before the game, during the game, after the game, it's just it's constant. It's a real feel-good factor. People all ages, you know, really excited about what they're seeing. So uh, we're over last year. Now feels like a long time ago and uh, really excited about this season and what we can achieve with that team. You see the first half again today, 4-0 at half-time, but it could have been any score. And again, the speed of play is just remarkable at times. The speed of play is incredible. As I said, I mean, I go, Paul, I don't think I've seen football like that. It's just incredible. The manager said he would bring that high intensity. We've seen him at one of his early training sessions where he said to them, you know, you don't stop running unless it's half time or full time we celebrate at the end and you're seeing that now week in week out you know all the players across the pitch Dembele's uh, Dembele um, Edwards um, desire to get the ball um, incredible across across the pitch players who weren't making that effort before are making that effort now Ayeti comes on at the end they, for the final goal he won the ball in a shoulder charge we weren't seeing that weeks ago um, so it's not just you know um, Kiago it's, it's, it's across the pitch Abada was sensational today the whole team are just absolutely on fire it's great to watch we dropped 14 points here last season. Um, St Mirren obviously beat us on one of those occasions. It just goes to show that we can't underestimate and take these sort of games lightly because these, when they when they add up, are what win you titles. Uh, it won't happen this year, I'm confident. That's going to be a fortress Celtic Park and it'll be interesting to see what we can do in the road as well on the tighter pitches. Um, you know, on the plastic pitches, we've still got those tests to come and we haven't overcome those in the last few years. We've struggled on the plastic pitches, but at home, that's going to be a fortress. We're back to the days of winning 5 and 6 now most weeks. I'm, I'm confident about that now. Juranovic. Uh, announced today. Do you think right now that Ralston's got that jersey uh, to keep for the minute? I think he has, and he, he didn't have a bad game again today. He's, he's solid. You can see he's a more confident player now. Um, he had a bit of nerves about him a few weeks ago, and rightly so, because he, he's only human. He'd be hearing what people are saying, he'd be reading what people are saying, but uh, I'd be gutted if, if they took his jersey off him now. I think the right side's far weaker, uh, far stronger than the left side. I think Taylor's still a bit inconsistent. Startfeld's still got a bit of work to do, but um, Ralston's been brilliant. I hope he, hope he keeps his shirt for a few weeks yet. Um, big week next week obviously away at Alkmaar and, and then to Ibrooks, but we couldn't be in better form going into it No and I'm, I'm super confident super confident I think we'll score during the week and therefore we need to lose three or four to go out I think we've, I think we've got a couple of goals in us and therefore we need to lose four or five so I think, I think we'll get through that exciting to see what the draw will be on Friday as well and what sort of teams we can look forward to maybe get a, a few trips for the fans as well and then going to, going to Ibrox fully confident uh, you know we're due them are doing it's been a long time it's been two or three years now we've kind of been in decline in those games albeit once or twice have competed. We've not gone in and really dominated for far too long now, so I'm super confident we'll do that next week and we'll lay down a marker. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, who's your man of the match today? Oh, gee whiz, that's a tough one. I mean, you give the man of the match to the team, couldn't you, today? Um, Turnbull got it, he got the ball. Uh, it was a badder for me today. He was sensational, he was involved in a lot of the goals. He doesn't just stick to his position. He's one of those players that, you know, he's the left side, he's the right side, he's through the middle, and his energy, same as Kyogo, it just feeds off on the rest of the team, so... Uh, yeah, bad for me. I mean, for a 19-year-old lad, what, what, what a sensation. And, you know, a shout-out to the scouting team. They've taken a lot of grief, but these two guys have found uh, Coago and Abada are absolutely sensational, both of them. What a difference they've made. Excellent. Cheers, mate.